Hi everyone, it's been a few days since I filmed my last video of my sort of Christmas present to myself haul um, and I, after that video had been filmed, I actually went through and um, filled up the rest of the pans with the Paul Rubens um, Opera colour set which will come in tubes. Now. I have to say once you fill them up and this is the same whenever you do any sort of um, putting in wet paint which you then need to dry it has dipped down I filled them right up to the top but I don't know oh, you probably can't see that very well but they have now sort of got a bit of a dip in it which I'm not too worried about because I've got the rest of the paints in the little tube so I can always top them up so these are the Paul Rubens um, opera set. So they're neon colours. So they are, as far as I'm aware from what I have um, watched and read, is they are not light fast. Most colours that are neons or opera are fugitive, which means that they do not, um, they, they will fade in light conditions. Now, for me, that is not, never an issue. I don't really look at things like that because my art or craft is generally either in an art journal or it's on a greetings card it's not you know it's not something that's going to be sold and put on a wall and um, expected to last for a long time but obviously if that is something that you are doing then that is um, a consideration for you i'm pretty sure that the information is on most of these companies websites hopefully so if if you were really interested then you could do that i have to say all the writing on that on the back of this little um, swatch card that's in here is all in Chinese <laughs> but there are some QR codes so I'm not, I'm not sure where they would lead to but I thought I would swatch them out for you quickly because there's only 14 colours so I thought I would do that in real time I was going to just do it onto this uh, swatch card but normally you get told to swatch onto the things you would actually be using so i might also at the same time swatch onto a manila page in here so i'll do that in real time with the 14 colors and then i'm going to do a page of art journaling on one of the black pages so i thought it'd be interesting to see how they react and to go with that oh, so now i've just got to grab my stamp i thought i would use some of my own stamps that i designed um that are part of the um, Night Skies collection. So things like the moons and the planets and the stars. I thought that would be quite nice. So I'm sorry about the glare off the packaging of that. So I'll link all of this in, down below. And I've also got a stencil that I thought I would use. Can I find it? Here it is. Which is uh, the Starry Night stencil. Um, this is also my design. And I thought that would be quite nice to draw through with maybe some white gel pen and do some neon colours in that. So I'll do that bit after I've done the swatching. I will speed that part up for you and add some nice gentle music hopefully over the top. So it'd be hopefully nice and really relaxing to watch. But I thought I would do that afterwards. So hopefully you'll stay with me right through to the end of the video. And if you do enjoy, do please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's really helpful. Um, so let's get on with some swatching. So these are now dried. They, they also may be slightly dipped because I have a tendency to do that a lot when things are drying, which is why I tend to try and do anything that needs to dry out properly overnight. So I do it just before bedtime. So I know I can't touch it. I'm terrible with glossy accents and texture paste and all those sorts of things because I will keep sticking my fingers into them. Now I'm going to move those to the side because I don't need those. I've got my water there this is the dilutions um, classics journal so this has got white uh, manila i should say um, pages black pages and also craft card page and i'm glad that's going to get in my way now so i want a, a section where i've got preferably a black and a manila but i'm thinking i'm going to go potentially oh that's got a bit of stuff on the back of it Let's maybe go with one. Oh, they all have though, haven't they? Oh, this one. We'll go to the back. It doesn't matter. So that's a bit flatter there. That's all I'm thinking. So let's move my brush over there. Let's move you over here a little bit. So we'll start off with doing some 
swatching and we'll swatch onto the card and onto the manila page and then my neon black art journal page will do on that side so let's get my paints again so we'll leave them there so i need my kitchen towel as well so i can get rid of any excess oh right at the end of that one and let's go so look, we're starting off with our opera yellow now i don't tend to particularly um whoa that is very bright do reviews of things like paints and things because i i don't feel that i am experienced enough in those areas to sort of well let's let's pull it out a bit to know how to compare them with the other paints and things like that so i usually just go by my own experience and i am i would put myself as a crafter more than an artist um, although i do i draw to design stamps but i i feel that that's sort of more what i do is is craft rather than art so for me it's more just about the fun of using products than you know having to have certain properties and qualities about them and the colour. So that one was the Opera Golden. They look very similar actually on the um, the swatch card as they do on the Manila. I'm going to guess because obviously this, the swatch card is on a, a much much brighter white. This is on more, it's, you know, it's got that cream hue so it's going to change it a little bit. So the next one is Opera Orange Red. I mean, they're not taking an awful lot of water to get them started. And I have to say, I'm pretty sure that on screen that yellow looks a lot more green than it does in real life. And I, in real life. And also, I was going to say something else and it's gone out of my head. Oh, no, it's gone. It has gone. So that's the Opera Orange Red. Let's go for a bit of the next one, which is Opera Orange. Now, you don't have to put them into a pan. I chose to put mine in a pan because that's how I like to use my watercolours. Um, if you want to, you know, just squeeze them out from the tube into a palette, then that's fine. Now, that, that's interesting because on this one, it looks brighter. Oops, put my hand in that. Brighter on the manila than it does in the on the swatch. Maybe I didn't put enough paint on. I'm trying to be fair. I do love the colours. I, the other thing that I have seen is that people say about using the um, the neons to mix in with your other sort of paint colours um, to either you know bright brighten up other colours or you can dole down these colours a little bit. Oh, that's coming out as bright as I was thought. This is Opera Light Red. Let's go on here. Like I say, for me, it's mostly, it's just about the colour and the fun of it. I'm trying to make sure I do clean my brush. This next one is Opera Red. Oops, a bit more water, I think. I'm still getting used to watercolours. Watercolour isn't my um, sort of natural medium. I've decided that I, I do really enjoy working with watercolours. As in a, a paint, I've, I've used watercolour pencils, I've used watercolour pens, watercolour reactive crayons, all those sorts of things. And it's only now I'm sort of really getting into using the actual paint. But it is more of a learning curve because you do have to sort of think a bit more about, you know, how much water you add and it's getting used to your brushes and things like that. Oh, this one's nice. Opera Rose. Oh, I like that one. That just reminds me like a fuchsia. I think I will lift this up a little bit um, at the end just to show you a bit more clearly the colours. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to match the swatch on here where I put them. So this next one is Opera Pink. Opera Pink. Let's go on here. Oh, this is even brighter now we're getting into the neons. I have to say, I think the... Um, the pinks and the yellows, the more sort of warmer colours are the ones you get the proper 
neon from. I'm not convinced that the blues ever give you a particular neon colour. That's the same when I've bought um, like the neon gel pens. I don't feel that the the blues and things really give you a proper neon that I would consider neon. Now this one says it's opera peach. I have to say it's not my idea of peach. I think of peach as being um, a sort of pale orangey sort of colour. That is definitely more a sort of uh, purpley pink colour. But there we go. Next one is opera violet. Oh, this looks nice. I could just tell by dipping my brush in that that's a lovely colour. Nice, nice sort of... Um, if I was comparing to like distress colours, I'd probably say it was more along the lines of maybe a oh, wilted violet crossed with seedless preserves, perhaps. Now, the next one is opera purple, so I'm guessing this is going to be much more of a sort of proper purple. Yeah, I'll do, oops, so I put that in the wrong one. Let's wipe that off a bit. Got a bit too much water in there as well, I think. Yeah, more like this probably actually is more of a um, wilted violet. It was possibly more of a seedless preserves, actually. That's how I generally compare my colours nowadays. But even the, the purples I wouldn't have said was were particularly, you know, neon. They're lovely, vibrant colours. It's the definite, but I don't know whether I would consider them to be neon. Now, apparently, if you put these under a special sort of UV light thing, they some of them will be, will fluoresce. If that's a word. Um, I think the ones that you think you can see are more on the neon scale are the ones that do that more. But this last one I just did was up is the one I'm doing now is Opera Ultra Marine. Let's get a bit more of that on there. And like I say, that to me that is just a lovely vibrant blue. I wouldn't have said it was particularly you know, neon. And the next one is just opera blue. <laughs> it's not, I don't mean just opera blue. I've done that one. Anyway. See that there? That's, oh, that's a nice blue though. Again, that's, they're lovely colours. I'm now not sure how much some of these are going to show up on my black page, but we'll find out. And if I need to, I will, you know, add in some extra bits and bobs over the course of the journal page. And then finally we've got opera green now i would have thought if i was looking at a neon oh no that is not that's not too bad i was thinking more of a lime green but actually that is fairly bright to be fair to be fair i don't think i spaced these out very well did i but it doesn't matter i will then go through and i will write the colors in here afterwards but i've I'm not going to worry about doing that now. Oops. There we go. So there we've got them on the bright white swatch. And then on to the manila as well. I'll lift that up for you. I'll just put my brush over there. And I'll lift this up to wars going like that. Now, I don't know how that yellow is showing actually in the video at the moment when I look on my little screen up by the camera that is shown as more of a lime green but in real life it is very much a yellow um, so I'm not sure if that is uh, showing accurately but on the swatch it gives you the number which I'm going to presume matches to the number on the tube let me have a little look yep and it gives you the name in Chinese and it also gives you the name written in English as well. So those are the 14 colours as they come out onto, you know, a light colour. But now I'm going to do a journal page onto the black with probably lots of white stamping and embossing as well. Um, and I'll put some extra bits stamped onto black and coloured in as well. I might even do some onto white to show you it, them coloured, but I'll do that. Like I say, I will speed that bit up. So I hope you watch through to the end to see how, how it all comes out. And thank you very much for watching so far. And like I say, if you, if you do enjoy, do please like and subscribe. And I'll see you at the end.
okay so I have finished my journal page I hope you managed to stick with me throughout that um I really have enjoyed using these neons they are not um as neon if you put them onto the black in fact I'm not sure if they show up as much on the camera as they do in reality in reality you can see the colors quite well on the black but I'm not sure that they catch that they are able to be caught on the camera that much but certainly on the white and this was on to watercolor cards I thought it'd be interesting to see them on different sorts of surfaces they are very lovely and vibrant I wouldn't necessarily say that all the colors are neon but for me that's not really an issue I, I don't need them to be you know fluorescent under certain lights or anything like that but they are certainly nice and vivid and I really enjoyed using them in my um, Dina Wake, not my Dina Wakely, in my Diane Reevely Classics Journal. Um, I think they really stand out beautifully against that black background, but equally they are lovely on the lighter colours as well. So thank you ever so much for watching um, and I will be back with you soon. I have now received my um, cotton watercolour paper journal and I'm going to be doing some swatching and some art journaling with the um, Kurotaki Gansai Tambis very soon so hopefully that video will be coming up very soon so you might like to tune in and watch that one as well but from me and the Paul Rubens opera set I say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon bye